Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. I'm up at Sussex Caravan and Motome Centre on the A24 between Washington and Ashington uh, in West Sussex. I'll leave all their description down below um, because they're a great uh, place to come and visit uh, if you need anything um, caravan related, motorhome related. Um, but they've got a lovely range of caravans and motorhomes. Anyway, the caravan I'm looking at today is a Swift Base Camp Flex 2. It's a 2022 model. It's, uh, well, it is it's brand spanking new. Um, it's got some really nice features in it, actually, and I'm going to show you them in a minute. But first of all, let me just show you the entrance to this caravan. So straight off, you'll have to excuse, it's really raining here today, but straight off, you uh, use the back of the caravan to come in this caravan. It's, um, it really is quite nice, actually. It's quite a robust looking caravan. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of this plastic um, will deteriorate over time, but um, uh, for now, it looks absolutely lovely. Um, but uh, it seems to be put, put together really, really well. Uh, not that I'm an engineer or anything, but uh, I do like to think that I'm sort of somewhat knowledgeable. So that is the back of the caravan. I say it's the Flex 2, uh, Flex Plus actually, beg your pardon. Um, I was looking at the number two down there. Um, but there are all the stats for this caravan. Let me just show you that. That's all the stats. And we'll take a quick look on the inside because this is quite a nice uh, caravan. It's got some great features. So walking into the caravan, on the left-hand side and on the right-hand side, you have uh, two bunk beds. Uh, so they're all in a day configuration at the moment. I'm not gonna change anything because like I say, this is a brand new caravan. I have been walking around this. It's quite a bit of wet on the floor. So you'll have to excuse my feet if they start squeaking. Um, these bags uh, for storage are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Um, a great little feature to have, I think. Um, you know, it's on both sides of the caravan. You have all the um, controls for your caravan here. And you've got your two alarms. You both, you've got two windows either side of this caravan as well for this area when you sleep at night time. And overall, I think really and truthfully, I mean, it's a great use of space. It really is. Um, you've got some anchor points on the floor down there. Um, and I'll be honest, because I don't really know a lot about this Swift base camp, um, I'd be really struggling to tell you why they're there. I should have really done more homework on this one. But anyway, walking into the kitchen area, you've got some storage area above the cooker. And, you know, it's, it's quite nice storage. I mean, you know, you wouldn't... Uh, carry too much in these caravans I wouldn't have thought because otherwise you're really going to make a life of misery for yourself because you're too much and then you're going to end up struggling to um, put it places anyway three gas burner which is quite nice you have a Thetford oven and um, there is a grill in there two storage underneath a Thetford fridge no sorry domestic fridge beg your pardon some storage to the left of the fridge uh, a decent size sink actually quite deep as well um, and a nice um, a nice tap, mixer tap, excuse my camera. Um, nice window to the kitchen. You've got two nice big windows to the side of the caravan. And this is your bed, double bed to make up for it being a six berth. Now you have some shelving here and obviously you wouldn't leave stuff up there while you're in transit. Um, a little bit on the flexible side as well actually, but uh, Got some nice uh, power points there and you've got your TV power points. Uh, you have these little areas here for storage. Uh, I wouldn't put more than a phone or a book in there. This is made of plastic, this bit here. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't trust that too much. Looks like you've got a nice little table to pull out there. Um, again, I'm not really too, oh, there you go. I'm not too okay about this because I don't know how it comes up. Yes, there's a little arm underneath. Uh, see if I can do that. There you go. So you have a, a little table there. Obviously, you just put a cup of coffee on there and a sandwich or whatever. You wouldn't want to put much more on there. I would imagine there's another hinge there. Yep, there is. 
there you go that makes that a lot more sturdy but yeah really nice nice big window in the caravan and obviously you've got the shade that pulls that down as well but yeah really nice really nice let me have a let me uh, show you inside the shower room got a great shower it's a combination toilet and shower a little cupboard up there for storage and i quite like these sinks i think they're they're great you know i mean I, we've got one in our uh, coachman in our bathroom and i do think they're good nice size mirror but it's a bit steamed up at the moment and you've got a nice big vent in the combination shower toilet room uh, to vent your steam off if you do decide to use the shower i think they've made a really good area um you know it, it's perfect You've got the wheel well in there, but uh, that's no big deal. That's off to one side, so that's not really going to hurt you too much. Nice big cupboard. Yep, nice big cupboard. Hanging space. You've got your aerial in there at the very back. You've got two ladders there for the uh, bunk beds here at the back. Um, that is for your heater. All your heaters in there. Nice table there to use at the back or at the front. And you've got your Vision Plus controls there as well. But I do like these bags. I think they're brilliant. A really, really good idea. And like I say, it does save on weight. I'm almost sure. Um, I should have gone to the NEC. I would have known what all this stuff was about. But this was a, a very impromptu um, visit to Sussex Caravan and Motorhome Centre. But I just wanted to have a quick look at it and just see what all the fuss was about. I think really, all in all, it's a great caravan. Really is a nice caravan. And, you know, if you were, a, a, you know, six people that needed uh, this sort of room uh, just literally to sleep, uh, then it's a great caravan. Really is. Uh, for me, uh, and, I'll, and I'll speak on par for Sarah as well, for us, it's a bit basic. Um, very basic, in fact. Um, so we, I, I wouldn't even entertain a caravan like this but there are people out there that would entertain this caravan and i'm sure that they would have a great time in this caravan um i just think that really and truthfully it's it's too many people in such a small space but there again i can see this type of caravan being used by i would i would say um people that like to go walking uh people that don't necessarily spend a lot of time in their caravan uh, hence the reason base camp so yeah that's it really I'll, I'll give you a quick look at the outside as well just before we go and uh and and yeah i think you know really and truthfully it's you know it's okay it does exactly what people need it to do So with this base camp um, Flex Plus, um, the outside of it is great. I mean, it's it's very sturdy. I mean, you know, it's got these big hard plastic panels all the way around it, uh, and the graphics on it are lovely. They really are nice. Um, this particular caravan at Sussex Caravan and Motorhome Centre is up for twenty four thousand nine hundred and ninety nine pound. So you get you know a, a, a great caravan for the money. Um, I just think you really have to be into the base camp. Anyway, um, the front of the caravan has got storage area there. Um, show you that there. Um, all in all, I really think you have to. You really do have to love the base camp to want to enjoy it. Like I said, for me, I don't think it, you know, or Sarah, it would be the ideal caravan. But I did want to bring it to you people just to show you exactly what it's about. There is some other base camps here. I'll quickly show you them as well. Uh, some of them are dealer specials. Um, so I might just quickly show you them as well. Right, this is the base camp too. This is the tw uh, 2023 model, I think it is. Um, Dometic fridge. I've not got the keys to this one, so I can't even go inside. Um, again, you have the door on the back. You have this very hardy piece of checkered uh, plating. So, you know, which gives it that rugged look. I don't know what that's about. I'm not even going to try and 
mess with it. Um, but again, you have the door on the back. You have your heating. Uh, it's all really uh, toilets at the back here. Um, this is, a, I think it's over a two or a three berth caravan, this one. Uh, like I say, I've not got the keys for it, so I can't really look into it. Uh, this one here is the Swift Base Camp. I think that's four. Excuse me if you can hear the road. It is quite noisy. Uh, again, really nice caravan. Don't know too much about it. Um, by looking at that, that is a four berth. Yes, it is a four berth. And we've got another one here. This is another base camp. Uh, this also is a four berth. Really nice. And like I say, the storage area on the base camp is the same throughout the range. Uh, you've got this big, massive door. I don't know how big the inside is on these. I don't know if that's open. No, it's not. Uh, and in fact, I'll have a look on the one that I've just shown you because uh, I have got the key for that. So let me just go around here. We'll have a quick look. See if we can open it up. Okay. Ooh. Okay, I'm not going to open that too far. Okay, so that's got quite a nice storage area. Obviously spare wheels in there and some other little bits and pieces. But you've got enough room for two gas bottles and probably a very small toolbox if you needed it. But yeah, quite adequate. So anyway, that's my look around the um, Swift Base Camp Flex Plus. 24,995, uh, sorry, 24,999. It's a six berth caravan, like I said. It wouldn't be ideal for me and Sarah, um, not because it's six berth, it's just very basic and, you know, and uh, I do like my creature comforts. But there again, there are people that really like these caravans and I know there's a big fan base for them. Um, so I wouldn't want to disrespect uh, anyone's caravan, but this is, a, you know, it, it does exactly what it says on the tin to use a phrase. Anyway, I'm going to go and give the keys back. I'm going to get out of the rain and uh, yeah, go and uh, do some, I've got, I've got some uh, location work to do next week. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.